guys so it's me Shani from your daily dose um, I've been wanting to make this video please you hear that jingling it's my dog King he just I just can't get him away from me but whatever anyways um, I've been wanting to do this video I wasn't able to do it last week um, and as many of you may or may not know I am Panamanian full Panamanian both of my parents came from the lovely country of Panama and they conceived me and um, <laughs> TMI but yeah they made me and I was born in Panama however I moved to the States when I was about two or three years old I don't know the logistics you'd have to ask my parents when I came over but um, I've been living in the wonderful and great state of Texas since then um, but I wanted to you know show a little bit of or yeah a homage I don't know if that's the proper way of the proper usage of the word but whatever I just wanted to represent um, my native country especially because estamos en el, en el mes de patria and last weekend was um, Independence Day last Friday they celebrated Independence Day and then Saturday was Dia de la Bandera so um, I just wanted to represent hardly home but always repping um, and I thought that I would school y'all on a little bit of Panamanian slang it may be old Panamanian slang I don't know my parents still use this my family still uses these terms so they're they're not that old they're still very much used amongst my Panamanians um, and if you're Panamanian and watching what's up um, leave comments below if you have some of the newer slang I have but without further ado oh also you may learn a little bit of Spanish in this video because it's definitely going to be a little bit of Spanglish but with all of that being said let's go ahead and jump right in so the first word that I have that I don't know I know Dominicans they use it pretty loosely but in my household I don't know about other Panamanians household but in my household I wasn't allowed to use this word um, my parents didn't use this word but other adults around me would use the word and that word is vaina and pretty much it sounds from what I've gathered it's just a vulgar way of saying thing or that thing over there it's a vaina baby camera see I don't even know how to use it in context because I don't it's not a part of my vocabulary but if you run you run up on some Panamanians or Dominicans you'll know what the heck they're talking about if they say buscame esa vaina you'll know give me that thing you know next word is um, it's more of a departure or yeah pretty much a departure it's dale pues if you're on the phone and you know you're about to say goodbye as normal people would say hasta luego bueno um, to hang out would be like dale pues okay see ya I'm like alright cool ciao pero es más dale pues um, now this next lingo is strictly Panamanian straight Panamanian I haven't heard it with other other um, Latin countries but it's for sure Panamanian and it's quesopa and um, it sounds weird because it is and it's pretty much um, it's I don't know there's a lot of play on words of like putting things backwards flipping it flipping and reverse it I mean and it it Sorry, I had a Missy Elliott um, moment there, but whatever. They pretty much jumble the words, but guess what? Five is pretty much a greeting. Like you see your friend, and you're like guess what? Five. I don't use it. I just use regular terms as hola o buenas, cómo estás, you know. But I guess if you know, I was running the streets of Panama and I was raised there, I would have been like guess what? Five. But I wasn't, so I just say buenas when I enter a room or when I say hi to somebody. I say. Hola, ¿cómo estás? That's what I say. Um, the next one, I catch myself saying it sometimes, and it's quite funny because I know when I'm with like my other, um, with my friends of other nationalities, they're like, "Why is she saying saying this?" And I'll tell you, I'll translate it in English. It's pretty hilarious. So an expression of like, "Oh my gosh," or like, "Wow," something like that. If we say "chuleta," you'll be like. Oh my gosh, chuleta, esto pasó, blah, 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 blah. Chuleta is literally pork chop in English. <laughs> so I have 
no idea how this happened. Maybe somebody was cooking one day and their freaking pork chop fell and they were upset and they're like, oh my gosh, chuleta, ¿qué pasó aquí? Ahora no tengo nada para pa cocinar porque la chuleta se calió en el piso. So I'm thinking maybe that's where chuleta came from, but it's just an expression where you're like, oh my gosh, chuso or chuleta, you know, something like that. Um, use it. Let me know how that works out for you. Just Or say it in English too. Be like, dang it, pork chop. Oh my gosh, pork chop. That reminds me of Doug. Was it Doug the cartoon that he had a dog named Pork Chops? I don't know. That's neither here nor there, but whatever. Use chuleta sometimes to be like, dang it, chuleta. Um, uh, so yeah, the word is pelao, pela, pelaitos. If it's a bundle of children, you'll say, esa peladita, ese peladito, o esos peladitos chuleta, you know. Ellos sí que le dan un, oh, they, they, they piss me off. But, um, that's how you refer to the lovely blessings the Lord has shared upon us um, in Panamanian. Or, you know, niño, niña, um, nene, nena, that's kind of Puerto Rican-ish. Um, but that's how you can, like, that's how you refer to children. Next word. I'm pretty sure that this is, like, my tío uses this word. Or, no, 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 I'm kidding. Yo creo que mi tío y mi tía no usan esta palabra todavía. That I didn't realize that they're literally saying pretty in English is what they're saying. Y se dice pretty. P-R-I-T-T-I. Pretty. But what they're really trying to say is pretty. P-R-E-T-T-Y. Um, but in, trans in translation, you would pretty say, if you're, if you're trying to say something about an object, you would say, oye, esto se ve bien pretty. O vamos para allá que esto está bien pretty. O esa blusa se ve bien pretty. The, the blouse is pretty. That's pretty much what it is. But hey, whatever. Do what you want. Take the English language and make it Spanish. Um, <laughs> this word is buco. Or buco, yeah, buco. It's pretty much what this means is just saying a lot of. Large quantity. Um, I could say, Mira, yo tengo buco naranja aquí en la casa, así que tú te puedes llevar una if you want to. Translation. I have a lot of oranges at home, so you can take a few if you want to. And I use oranges because I just came from a baby shower, and the host, she had a whole bunch of oranges, and she just threw some in my purse. And I was like, here, take it. I have so many. So, <laughs> it was quite funny. I forgot that she had put them in my purse, and when I got home, I was like, why the heck do I have random oranges? Like, I'm talking about like 15 oranges. Um, this one's pretty cool. It's literally English, pero ponen ta, and now it became Spanish. Ta cool. And then you add an accent in there. It's not, it is cool. It's ta cool. Ta cool. Ta cool. It means it's cool. <laughs> and then um, chicha, that's your drink. I like jugo, like your natural drinks. Una, una chicha de, de tamarindo, una chicha de naranja, something like that. My favorite is una chicha de tamarindo. Um, and then you have ye ye. If you hear somebody call you ye ye, I think it depends on the tone. But then again, I don't think being, being called ye ye is ever nice. But pretty much ye ye is kind of like you're flashy. I take it as being stuck up or um, like you clearly think that you're pooped outside. That's what ye ye is. So I don't know. Maybe they could tell you that out of like a form of endearment. But I think it depends on who it's coming from because if it's somebody that doesn't like you and they're saying that you're yeah yeah, it's it's in a negative context. So be wary. Um, and then this is my favorite one. I didn't understand this when I was a kid, but my mom would always tell me. She'd be like, Shani, bella cuenta que voy a tomar echar un cinco, and I'd be like, what? And pretty much what that is is I'm gonna take a nap. And being a child, you're like, okay, ella va a echar un cinco, so that's cinco minutos. So one, two, three, four, five, and I would wait. I remember I would wait five minutes, and then I would go and open my mom's eyelids, and I'd be like, "Mommy, ya pasaron cinco minutos," and she'd be like, "No, go back to sleep." So I don't know why my mom didn't sit down and explain to me que echar un cinco is not literally echar un cinco. It's just I'm going to take a nap because she probably had no good naps with me, and I'm sorry, mommy. I feel your pain now because yo le digo a Leo que voy a echar un cinco and I don't even get un minuto. Next word, 
we have Mopri, and that's what you would, um, your cousin, or just your your close friends, you know, like your play cousins. You can also say it's Mopri, or Queso Pa Mopri. There you go. You can use that as well. Um, but that's basically your cousin. Tu, tu primo, prima. Yeah, it can be male cousin, female cousin, non-blood related cousin, just cousin. Um, oh, and then this is one of my, well, it's not one of my favorites, but it's something, you, ne you never want to say this because it's kind of depressing in a sense. So, you know, you're broke. You're just broke. You, you ain't got no fun. You say, toy limpia o, o toy pera. One of those two is just like, look, I'm clean. My pockets are clean. That's how broke I am. Um, so if you hear somebody say that, don't invite them to go eat dinner or anything unless you're going to be fronting it. Just, you know, you know, bless them with a the meal. If they say, estoy limpia o, o estoy pela, no. They, they ain't got funds to do. No fun things. <laughs> um, and then this one, I think I've heard it in other other forms being said, but um, in Panama se dice bochinche. Um, other places is chisme, or I think that's the only other way. But basically, bochinche is to gossip. And, um, or, you know, here's how you can use it. Um, you see your, your homegirl and you're like, hey, es que tengo, or, or you te tengo esta cocoa. That's another one, and it's not cocoa. But hey, look at that. You know how now we say, oh, I got the tea for you? Well, now it's like, I got this hot chocolate for you. It's so sweet. You're going to be like, dang. So tengo esta cocoa, o tengo este bochinche para ti. Um, either way, you shouldn't be gossiping. That's bad. But but if you do gossip, well, you can tell your friends in a different way how you're going to gossip to them. Tell them, tengo este bochinche, o tengo esta cocoa para ti. And then, um, I think that's pretty much it. If you're Panamanian and I happen to miss something, which I'm pretty sure I did miss a couple words, or if there's some updated words, feel free to drop below and let me know what they are. Like I said, I try to go back to Panama every year, or every two years, so maybe my slang is not as hip as it would be today. And if you are a Panamanian, what's up? Subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, um, support your fellow Panamanian. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell so that you know you'll be notified that I upload another video because you're just dying for me to upload another video so go ahead and do those two things for me um, leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this let me know and until next time I will see y'all then ciao or um, let me use a pan Megan slang palante <laughs>